Last year, he marked 35 years in showbiz and the party continues with a new series of concerts celebrating one of his greatest albums ever, Goodbye Tiger. I'm talking Richard Clapton. Check out the screen for the details, but right now live on Mornings, Deep Water. To the beach at night Fireflies dance in the promenade light All those rock and roll bands used to really swear And I'd do a foxtrot with sweet Christie Speaking to me with a gentle air I flock on down to Wonderland In deep water I'm caught up in his pool In the truck in Europe And I came back looking just like a ghost Most of us scattered all over the stairs Nobody reads me so nobody cares Yeah, it's already time for the reach 21 Really just ain't my idea for Drunk, the car won't go. My crazy eyes keep looking out to sea. Sunday drives the cruising rail. Wish me I'll go back to town. What do they expect to find? Sure as hell ain't peace of mind. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Superb. <laughs> Thank you, Kerry. How good is it feeling 35 years on? Oh, it's pretty cold. <laughs> no, it is. Fabulous. Now, Goodbye Tiger, 1977, mm -hmm. so 32 years ago, you were yep. voted, voted Artist of the Year. You had mm -hmm. Album of the Year. As a young musician, what was that like? From Rolling well, Stone, big deal. Well, yes, because in those days, Rolling Stone was like the most cred sort of a periodical around. So that was quite mind blowing to, you know, scoop those awards as long ago as it was. How did you <laughs> celebrate that? 
Oh. <laughs> With um, a shandy? <laughs> of course you did. Is that the right answer? That's the correct. Thank you. But I mean, come on, you guys mm. have been doing it for so many years, and it's a testament mm. to the to the quality work that you've done. Um, uh, the the artwork, even on mm. Goodbye Tiger, nineteen seventy. Let's have a look at that because, I mean, that was something unique. What are your memories of that? Well, I mean, even to this day, I mean, it's really unique. Like, the, the, there was two people. It was, it, um, a girl called Violet Hamilton and her partner Jeff mm -hmm. did that. And it's, even when you look at it now, it's pretty, pretty extraordinary. What does I it mean, sort of mean? Explain. Can you give us a, an insight behind it? <laughs> well, or you just said, oh, man, it looks cool. Yeah, well, you know, to put it politely, those were the heady days of 1977. <laughs> okay, and what are you so, telling me? <laughs> well, I think it was inspired by cosmic forces, probably. <laughs> Very good. Okay, no more explanation no. needed. Oh, I know. No, but what I remember, um, Chuggy, Michael Chug was my yep. manager then, mm -hmm. and he had a backdrop made up of that. And the tiger had flashing eyes. And when we first started going on tour, like everyone was cracking up at the big tiger with its flashing eyes. Anyway, that nice story. Yeah. Now the songs on the album, and as I said, from 32 years ago, a testament to quality work that is lasting mm. the distance. Where did you write these songs? How did they come about? Well, the weird thing about this album, which people always say is my most Australian album, was actually written in this fishing village called Nora Nabel. Um, which is the northernmost tip of Denmark. Of so, Denmark? Yeah. So I sat on the northern antipodes and wrote songs about Bondo Beach being the southern antipodes. Now go figure that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that. Do I need to ask why you were in Denmark? Uh, because I'd spent a lot of time in Berlin and most of my friends in Berlin went to Berlin Uni. Mm -hmm. And just, just like we, you know, have weekenders on the central coast in Sydney, mm -hmm. you know, they go to Scandinavia for, the, for their six week and right. that's where you wrote all these yeah, magic songs. Yeah. So you really had On a... On a frozen beach, it was about 40 degrees below. Wow. <laughs> okay, would you like to be a star, a young star, an 18-year-old, 20-year-old in the business starting out now? I, I personally would not, no, because it, it's, it's, um, it's not the business that I, I came into. And it's very... Is it harder? I would imagine it is very hard because it's like, you know, recently everyone's asking me, you know, when my next album's going to be released. And I go, well, albums, yes, I remember them. Mm. You know, people don't really do albums anymore and mm. stuff. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit alien to me, this, this period of time we're living in. So, no, I'm, I'm sort of glad I'm the age I'm at. Do you at. think the focus, that extraordinary detail to professionalism and every aspect of a business as mm. opposed to being a great songwriter and then going out and doing it is vastly different. Uh, uh, exactly right. Hmm. I mean, I, I think a lot of young people don't really understand that this is not just about getting up and, you know, singing your lungs out. There is a hell of a lot more to it hmm. if you want well, to survive. Well, you've done it and hmm. to have survived 35 years hmm. is a testament. Yes, you had a bit of fun along the way. It's 36. 36, sorry. sorry. <laughs> That's right, it's 35. Well, I'm, I'm only count. up. I'm only up. <laughs> You're coming back uh, for another song later. Can't I sure wait. am. Yep. Wonderful. It's a big celebration, so thank you. Mm -hmm. So uh, check out the details also uh, on the website as well. But coming up on mornings, how to avoid food poisoning. Ever, ever had food poisoning? No. Oh, not. I had it once. Oh, did just you? Awful. No. But it's a big story at the moment. We're going to tell you how you avoid it. But also next, the Rosemount Sydney Fashion Festival kicks off next week. A preview from one of our leading designers, Jason Bronston.